Picture postcard waters of Warrnambool in Victoria's southwest. It's home to the maritime village of Flagstaff Hill, the historic lighthouse and buildings harking back to the region's seafaring past, making it the perfect place to savour some of the local seafood. Now, I couldn't come to Warrnambool without trying some local fare from a local chef. This is Chris from the Pavilion. Chris, you're going to be cooking us a beautiful local octopus dish. Uh, that's correct. Um, I suppose Warrnambool is known for its crayfish and abalone and all that on the foreshore, but mm -hmm. for me, it's about finding a, a new product. Yep. And octopus being a bycatch of the cray fishermen, right. I think is a great opportunity to showcase this recipe today. Yeah, and it is absolutely beautiful. So how do we prepare it? So we're going to pickle this dish, mm -hmm. and I suppose the simplest form will be just to get a hot pan, mm -hmm. we're going to throw a few aromatics in it, and we're going to split the chilli. Yes. We're going to smash a few garlic cloves, mm -hmm. chuck some thyme and some bay leaves in. I'll get the oil in the pan. Okay. So we want to get this hot pan, so once the aromatics hit, they'll release their fragrances straight away. Okay. And this is the octopus we're actually using today. Whoa! <laughs> that is a very large tentacle. So it's huge. It's not a bad bycatch sitting, these things get to about six or seven kilos. Yep. And um, they eat most of the crayfish in the pots. So the fishermen hate them. Yep. But as a chef, we love them. Mm, yeah. mm. And that looks quite large, but as it cooks, it does shrink quite a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll lose about 20 to 30% of the water content of this uh, product. Right. So what's the trick to making this octopus tender? Well, for this recipe, we're eliminating the hard work out of it. So we've got the hot oil with the aromatics we've got going now. Mm -hmm. All we're going to do is get the octopus, yep. and we're going to put it straight in. Oh, you need two people to put that tentacle in there. <laughs> And, and this is going to release all its own moisture. Right. So now once we've seared the octopus, we're just going to add the red wine vinegar. Yeah. It's amazing how much it changes in the Oh, pan, the colour of it is yeah. it's beautiful. It's a great product to work with. Mm. And all you want to do is let this simmer, come to the boil, and we're going to put a lid on it and turn it off. Yep. And let it sit in its own juices for 25 minutes. And now we'll wait. Wow, Chris, it's changed dramatically, hasn't it? Yeah, considering uh, 25 minutes, half an hour ago, this was like four foot long and we were going like this. <laughs> exactly. And now it's down to about a foot long and lost two thirds of its body weight. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, it still looks tender yes. as it went in and now it's been cooked. Yep. And we've eliminated the hard work. All we have to do now is skin it. Fantastic. So how do you skin the octopus? So it's as easy as mm -hmm. getting your fingers in under the skin. Yep. Pushing it there, we pull it forward. Yep. And then we just peel it back. Oh my gosh. That's so easy to do. I've actually learned so much just watching you cook. Because usually I would boil it in water and you know, there's so many, you've got to plunge it first and cook it twice. This is the easiest way and it's super I mean, super I can feel tender how now. tender that is. It's Incredible. It's got a beautiful colour. Mm. It's salty. It still tastes like the sea because mm. we haven't washed it. It's yes. cooked in its own juices. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah. So we're going to cut the octopus right. just on a slight angle. Okay. We'll take the first knot off. That's just a little bit firm, I guess, where it's been joined up to the head. Yeah. And then we're just slicing through. There's no effort in it. It just slices through like butter. It, it really is like butter. It's, it's like so tender. It's beautiful and white. Yep. I guess you being a chef here in Warrnambool, you knowing Warrnambool, do you find it really easy to cook here because there's so much beautiful produce? Oh, look. Most people down here, especially the suppliers, they're so proud of what they're, they're growing or harvesting mm. that um, we're just keeping it simple. Like We're letting the, the product showcase itself. And it's not just about the seafood we have here. Warrnambool is known for its dairy industry, mm -hmm. our lamb, our beef. Mm -hmm. And then also this, this is really interesting. What have you got here? They're all our coastal greens that grow on the foreshore. Mm. We've got some samphire or sea asparagus. Oh, look at that. Some pig face, some warrigal greens. Like, and they're all from our restaurant window nearly that grow on the sand, like out the front of the, the restaurant at the moment I'm at. So yeah. crunchy, so salty. I mean, it's not just going to look beautiful on the plate. I can, I can tell it's going to bring an element to it in regards to taste too. Yeah, we're just mm. looking for textural on the plate. Like, mm. we've got crunchiness from the carrots. Mm. We've got some stickiness and saltiness from the octopus. So I'll have to show you how I guess we, we plate a restaurant dish up. Go for it. <laughs> This is just a little house carrot puree we make. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's about trying to find something that's going to coat your palate to, you know, to take that saltiness away a little bit. But mm -hmm. 
I love the colour of carrot puree. Everyone loves carrot puree. <laughs> I know. This is a sort of a dish that I'm known for. If I use seafood, it's got carrot puree. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. And there's that signature chefy smear. No. <laughs> I do like it. <laughs> We've been practising that for a long time. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so we've just got our octopus. Mm -hmm. We're just going to place it on the plate a little bit. It's soft, it's juicy. I'm sure you're going to uh, enjoy this today. I just love how the colours pop, you know, the contrast of that orange with that bright red octopus. Yeah, and then we've got some textural mm -hmm. and some vinegar. We've pickled up some carrots just in a local house pickle that we make. Yep. Um, every house has their own pickle mm. or their own vegetable. Like yep. Some might like to use zucchini mm. being seasonal or tomatoes mm. or whatever, but I like carrots. Yep, some, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> some fresh crunchiness from our radishes. Mm -hmm. Like Still looking for that colour. Yep. Then we've got all our local greens that we've, we've picked this morning. Mm -hmm. So I've got some pig face, some sea asparagus, which you're saying that you enjoy the texture of it. Yes, I love it. A couple of local uh, dill from Tower Hill. Mm -hmm. Chris, that is pretty as a picture. It's very autumnal too with all those beautiful colours. Yeah, look, I could, I could see you were smelling the, uh, the octopus before. Mm. Um, please. Try it for me. <laughs> I would love to. All right, I want to make sure I have a taste of each element of the dish. A bit of oki, a bit of carrot, samphire, because I love it. I'm looking at how juicy it is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it's amazing, and I love the carrot that comes through. Succulent octopus right here from Warnable. It's an absolute delight to learn off you. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, Charles.